Hello everyone, good to see you all again today. If you look behind me, I'm standing in front of Mark Forge. And for those of you who watched my recent video release of the Mark Forge testimonial given while I was in India, something that was repeated over and over again was the ability to keep the machine spindles running while 3D printing, fixturing for places in your shop. So I'm at Smith & Company today here in Alabama and I just happened to find these Mark Forge uh, 3D printed parts. Here is a fixture that was 3D printed and oftentimes when we have discussions about additive manufacturing or 3D printing, we say, okay, well, nothing's gonna come straight off of the 3D printing machine without needing a secondary operation because the tolerances just aren't held good enough, right? Well, guess what? This one, straight off of the machine, perfect tolerances, then goes into a hermolate. Imagine that, you know the precision of a hermolate. Something else that was confessed to me in this interview that I did in India was the fact that a fixture like this, if we're gonna make it out of metal, it's gonna be quite heavy, right? And some of our overall tolerances on our machines have weight limits. This thing, yeah, I can hold it with a finger. It's so light, yet it has the strength of a hard metal. But I have one more thing I want to show you because these are obviously going to be put into CNC's or some form of clamping, right? But let me show you one more place where we can utilize additive manufacturing. Let's take a look. So as you can see, we're in front of a CMM machine now and the fixturing right here was also 3D printed by Mark Forge and for one more time, no secondary operations and it is perfect precision right off the get-go. So just had to bring that to light. I hope you guys have learned something today. I hope this has been beneficial for you. Look into 3D printing, look into additive manufacturing. Obviously choose the product that works best for you, whether you're printing plastics or metals or something else altogether, but give it a look. It's definitely something that I find in almost every single shop now that is allowing people to keep the main machine spindles running while doing the accessory work over on the 3D printing machine. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you again soon.